Hi folks and welcome to In the Kitchen with Pete. Today we're doing a simple and delicious recipe I created. It's a beef and cheese stuffed pastry. So delicious, so easy. I use the already made puff pastry. It leaves me so much time to do some of the things like creating recipes. Some of my passions in cooking are creating sauces and fillings and different recipes with herbs and spices. That's the things that I love to do. And when I use the puff pastry that's already done, it frees up a lot of time. Let's get cooking. We'll start off with the stuffing that I've created. And it all started out because I had some leftover roast beef. Let's get to it. First, we'll start out with four to five cremini mushrooms and we'll finely dice them. Just run your knife through them a couple of times. And the same with an onion. We're gonna need about three tablespoons, finely diced. Now in a pan on a medium to high heat, we're gonna add a teaspoon of each butter and olive oil. We'll saute our mushrooms and onions till they're golden brown. And then just before we take them off, add a little pinch of salt and pepper, give it a stir, then we'll remove them and set them aside. When I first created this recipe, it was from leftovers of a sirloin roast. And that's what I'm using here. Just finely dice it. And at the end, we want to end up with two cups, finely diced roast beef. In a mixing bowl, we'll add our two cups of diced roast beef. And then we'll add one cup of herb and garlic cream cheese. Three tablespoons of mayonnaise or blue cheese dressing is a good option. Two cups of grated cheese. I use the Italian mix. Three teaspoons of horseradish. More or less to your taste. But I think horseradish and roast beef just go together so well. It's kind of like grilled cheese and ketchup. It's a perfect match. Last ingredient is our mushrooms and onions that we had sauteed. We'll sprinkle those in. We want to mix this thoroughly. We'll set that in the fridge for a few minutes and let's get over to our pastry. You'll find these puff pastries in the freezer section. I've let it thaw overnight and you can see there's two per box. I'm going to take one out and just open it up and unravel it. And you can see it's a nice flat pastry about 10 inches by 10 inches. I want to roll this out and get an extra inch or two on each side. I want to put some flour down on the surface, a little flour in my hands little flour on top of the pastry and a little flour on my roller and just gently roll out each side so eventually I get about an extra two inches it'll end up about 12 by 12. Now using a sharp paring knife I'm going to put little slits down each side about an inch and a half from each other. As you can see I'm not touching the center as that's where we're going to put our filling. I've taken my filling out of the fridge and split it in half. This recipe is perfect for two of these sheets. Just simply lay it out in between and now you're going to start doing the fancy pastry work. Fold up each end and then you're just going to crisscross all the way down. That's how it ends up looking so beautiful after it's baked. At the end, if there's a little excess, just simply cut it off with the paring knife. Now we'll do the same with our second one. Look at that. Just enough filling for two sheets. Fold it up and then it'll be time to put it on a cookie sheet and some parchment paper. I'm going to use some egg wash, just an egg all mixed up and brush it on top. That's going to give us that nice golden brown. And a little sprinkle of salt and pepper. That'll do it. 
We'll put that into a preheated 375 degree oven for 25 to 30 minutes. And here it is fresh out of the oven, nice and golden brown. This recipe is not only great just for a nice sit down dinner, but how about a little appetizer party? Cut them up into single servings. Oh my, doesn't that look mouth watering? Well, that was another simple and delicious recipe. If you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. Boy, oh boy, it looks good. I think I'm going to give it a whirl. It just oozes out all that filling. Nice flaky pastry. Oh, man. The beef so tender and cheesy and that flaky pastry it's outstanding I've got some great ideas for some different fillings that you're gonna see on future episodes of in the kitchen with Pete so don't forget to subscribe I put out a new video every Monday just hit that little subscribe button and you'll get notified well, thanks for coming out and watching In the Kitchen with Pete. Until next time, see ya. When I need the help, living life the way I do. When I need the help, living life the way I do. Well, if you don't love me, baby, please don't pretend you do.